Today I'm going to show you a PvP build with the Battle Axe. This is known as the Twitch TV Mean Shock build. So if you go to the PvP rankings, I'll show you the build in a sec. And you go to last week, he is on here somewhere. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't think he played last week actually. But essentially, this is his build. He runs a Hunter Hood, he runs Thetford Cape, sometimes uh, Undead Cape, because he does do this in Black Zone Mists. Hellion Jacket, this is to bait people. He will get himself on very low HP, heal up with mobs with Hellion Jacket, and then kill his attackers. He uses a Moizak, a Battle Axe, Healing Potion, any Cloth Boot for the Energetic Sprint, and a Pure Mess Snapper. I think he uses 7.2, I'm not entirely sure, and he uses a Pest Lizard so that if someone attacks him while mounted, they will be at a disadvantage. And uh, just, uh, just because, like, not many people were cool to me uh, whenever I browsed Twitch streams, so I wanted to like kind of return the favor just a little bit here, and uh, wow, this is getting really wonky on my screen. But essentially, um, if you go to his chat on Twitch, and I don't, I'm not really showing it too well here, but um, let's see, you can redeem points for items. So if you sit in his chat and you collect these little, I don't know, Twitch points, you can you can cash them in for a Swift Claw or a Gray Wolf or even an Elite Wild Boar once per day. Okay. So it is uh, super cool to go check out his stream because he was cool to me when almost all other streamers weren't. And so I'm showing off his PvP build in a yellow zone mist against, well, not as experienced players because I personally am not the best at Battle Axe. Uh, I do have it 100 spec, but uh, I don't have it maximum spec across all axes. Not yet. I'm still working on it. But uh, the way this build works is it's pretty good for farming, you know, like the... Uh, these little mob camps here, because you can AoE and you have a range attack. But uh, it, it's just really good for brawling with players. It's a very hard build to beat uh, in 1v1. So let's fight this mysterious stranger here. And he is, uh, he's a bit geared. He's also a curse staff user, so we can use our W to chase. And if you're, if there's like a critter nearby, and I completely messed that, so we'll throw an axe at him. Look at that damage, oh boy. So what's he doing? Let's just run at him. Go ahead and root him here, and then... Maybe hit him with our second axe. At this, I'm not even playing the build like the best I can, but we did down this guy. He was only 4-3 cloth armor, but it was it was a very easy fight. Very fast and very clean. Uh, so, <laughs> um, he, he is a very good, honest player, and uh, I gotta give him prompts for that. Uh, and his build is very sick. <laughs> his, his build is just beastly, all right? Even if you just want to farm, it's like, say you're farming in here, and you pulled a bunch of mobs and someone jumps you. You just push your Hellion Jacket and if they can't purge it, you're fully healed. Ooh, what do we got here? Now that's a challenging fight. I want to I want to fight that guy. I think I can take him. Like, I think I can honestly take that guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Even though he's at a bit of a disadvantage. Look at him. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he's running. We can hit him. <laughs> there we go. I'll just reflect that. Thank you very much. And I'll just heal, and look, it's no contest! That was too easy! This is an 8-3 bear paws with over 100 spec, and I just smoked them like it was... Oh man, I didn't... <laughs> and yes, I am an 8-3 masterpiece battle axe. Okay, yes, sure. That was too e Oh, Dude, this build is... I don't know if I should publish this now. <laughs> Are, is the public allowed to have such an overpowered build? <laughs> you can even chase mounted people because this is a chase build. Like, I don't think I can... Oh, almost. I'm, I'm not very good at the build, but I'm sure if, uh, you know, you got, <laughs> you got some experience piloting this, it would be very easy for you to dismount that player. And I haven't even eaten my Pyramid Snapper. So Pyramid Snapper, what this does is it gives you 9.45% max health and a 6.62% lifesteal. Super good. Oh, he's gonna fight. Let's go. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, you're already dead. You're already... Whoa, he died weird, but... He ran at me, guys. It was self-defense. <laughs> so, but yeah, the, uh, this streamer is incredibly smart, because he'll, he'll, like, let himself get really low health, just from letting mobs attack him, right? And then he will approach a player, and the player will see, like, he'll be on one health bar. Like, I'll, I'll try to demonstrate just how much this heals. And he doesn't even use an 8-3, okay? Like, the more the better gear you use, obviously, the better it is. Uh, but this is also really good for mob clears. Like, I'll just 
Look at that, like, you just- you just smoke them, and yes, if they're higher tier or whatever, but, you know, just throw an axe, they're dead. It, it hits so damn hard. But let, let's get a bunch of mobs here, and uh, let them hurt the hell out of us, okay? So we've got a bunch of mobs. You don't even need to heal off this many. You could just heal off a few, right? And so what he will do, it's super smart, is he'll let himself get really, really wounded, and he'll run towards a player, and the player will be like, oh, that's a free kill, he has no health. And, uh, yeah, this is taking a while, because it's, uh, well, it's a yellow zone, and these mobs don't hit very hard, but you get the point, right? If you saw someone with a low health bar, even, like, this low, wouldn't you just immediately engage them? Wouldn't you be like, oh, that's, that's free. That's an easy kill. But look how, <laughs> look how fast this heals up. So he baits the enemy, they're coming at him to fight, he does this, look at that, and then <laughs> suddenly he's full HP, or enough HP, and then he can engage. But, but it's even worse than that, because remember, you're, you, you're a throwing axe user, so you just throw your axe at players or mobs and you heal. And if you have three blood stack, like if, if I have three bleeding stacks on an enemy, that's, it's actually more than 496 on the heals, because the Moizak boosts that. Uh, so, uh, these guys aren't going to be able to survive three bleed stacks. So, I can't really show it on the mobs unless I find like a really powerful mob. Uh, in all honesty, but it is it is a sick, just freaking freakishly powerful build. It hurts, it, it hits really, really hard, okay? He uses like an 8-1 battle axe, and he uh, his E can hit for like over a thousand. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty brutal. And you get to throw it twice, but he doesn't just throw them both at the same time. I haven't really asked him why. Like, he's, he saves his second throw. Maybe he's like baiting players that don't know battle axe to see if they will like get close so he can hit them again with it, or... Maybe he just wants to, like, not hurt them so much that they can get afraid and run away immediately. I'm not really sure of his strategy. But, um, lately he's been streaming a lot of non-Albion games, but he still plays, like, full loot games. Like, DayZ and, and stuff. So, definitely worth checking out. He was cool to me when all the other streamers weren't, so... That's why I'm giving him the old shout-out and, uh, showing you guys the build. Uh, I didn't really ask him if I could show the build, but, you know, you don't own a copyright to the build. And, I, you know, you guys want your videos. I want to give you good, wholesome videos. Videos that are just, you know, full of information. This, this is a... It's just a... It's it's a fun... Like, I'm surprised how powerful it is. That 8-3 Bear Paws guy ate complete dirt. <laughs> and it was fast. And I didn't even get to do any crazy tricks either. Like, what happened there? <laughs> he just died. He just got deleted, man. Let's see how much it heals. Like, this mob might be a little bit tankier. So we'll get three bleed stacks on him. So hit him. Well, he's shielding right now. Is he? Oh wait, is that even the right mob? Okay, he's got three blood stacks, thousand sixty-four, and that heals me for two hundred thirty-three, which doesn't seem like much, honestly, like for reals. But I've seen it heal for more, so I don't know. Maybe it's just in PVE, or maybe the blood stacks fell off, or I I'm not entirely sure what happened there. But let's try to find another mist because I think this, like, none of the. Objectives are spawning on this one or they're taking forever to spawn. I haven't seen any other players. We, we beat two players So this is probably pretty much emptied out. There's there's only one pool of water to like check for fishermen and stuff So we'll just, we'll just hop into another mist or we'll go beat up someone in the yellow zone uh, More geared players and more players to muck about with in the yellow zones anyway, but it will cause me to lose rep That's fine. Let's just let's just uh, change. Let's go find some more victims all right, we are PvP flagged in the yellow zone. Yes, sir. That's right. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Uh, no need to... Like, this is a build I would use to gank uh, static dungeons. That would be real fun. Gank static dungeons with this. We got some people. They're following me around. Oh, what's he going to do? He's faction flagged. He can't hurt me. So, no worries there. And uh, let's see. This is, like, from what I've seen, this is used for the mists. Uh, which means, you know, because you can dismount people easier, it's just, I don't know. I hear a wisp. There it is. That's a rare one. Yes, let's go. Rare wisp. Awesome stuff. There should be some good objectives in here, maybe with some more geared players. Let's see what kind of trouble we can cause in this rare mist. Rare? <laughs> and this is a good PvE build also. It's, I mean, this is just all around nice. It feels good. It's easy to play. It's simple to play. You have high mobility, high survivability. Bait potential, burst potential, ranged potential. This guy whispered me yellow zone warrior. Yeah, exactly. So what? I'm in my I'm in my lane. I'm having fun. I'm doing my thing. <laughs> you can hate all you want though. These guys are moving like when the mobs move around, it makes me think that they were chasing somebody. 
I hear, oh, that's, I thought I heard a noise, but apparently that was just my mount uh, hooping out its toxins. So we're just going to roam around here and see what we find. And no, I don't have any gathering gear with me. I'm not doing any gathering. That would make a boring video. We're, we're going to run around and smash players. That's what we're after. And this build is perfect for smashing players. I think that the lizards are amazing for running through these camps without being slowed down. And I think that's why he also uses a pest lizard. Personally, in a yellow zone, I would use an Avalonian Basilisk, but the toxic spewage that when someone hits you is probably invaluable if you want to, you know, like camp, a, or, you know, someone's camping a chest, and you just walk up, and then they tap you, and then they're poisoned, and then feared, and then you dismount and just blow them the hell up. Or, you know, if they pop your mount and the toxin is hitting them, then it's just, you, you basically get a free set of attacks before they recover. At least that's my opinion. I haven't actually seen that work that way, but is there any players here? I mean, I am playing during off hours. It's like technically three in the morning, so not a lot of... And it's a week... Oh, mysterious stranger. Let's go. Yeah, time to fight. And I don't have my cooldowns, but that's okay. Oh, invisible. Boink. And yeah, oh, he survived with like a little baby amount of health, and then I finished him off epic style. <laughs> and look, I'm full health. I'm just full health. And he was hitting me. I don't know if he was hitting me very hard, but uh, like, I don't even. Know, I don't even. I'm so power. I'm like Goku or something. I don't. It's like he he gave him. He gave me his all, or maybe not. And also, I'm also nearly four thousand HP because of the pure mist snapper, which is wild. If I had eight point four armors or more spec, then I would definitely be over four thousand HP, which is just powerful as heck, man. Like, I, I just feel invincible with this build, and I can't see... There's a guy up there. Let's go. I saw his name. We're just gonna run at him. Yeah, let's go. Oh, he's mounting. Oh, he's, he's doing something. He's He wants me to dismount. Hey, it's... <laughs> Get back here, you. You're like a similar build. You have the mercenary jacket. Yeah, I want to fight him. He's also... Look at him. He's also almost 4,000 HP. That would be a good fight. He He looked at me, though, and he's like, I don't know about that. I don't know about this fight. <laughs> Come on. Aren't you? He, he's flagged up too. He is hard flagged just like me. He is doing the exact same thing. He is looking for... A, did he go into Brazilian? Bro, did he, just, he just zoned into Brazilian, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Well, maybe... No, he's not hard flagged. He's not hard flagged. What the heck, dude? He wants me to burn my abilities to dismount him. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm going to have fun chasing him the rest of the time. <laughs> but see, even he won't fight. He knows this build is absolutely just... It's a, it's a monster. It's really hard to deal with. <laughs> uh, whatever, dude. Uh, he's just waiting for, like, a chest to spawn or something. He has to fight me eventually. That's the thing, too. Is, like, if someone is, you know, good enough at the game to know that you're the big fish then it, you don't have to fight them. You can just sit at the chest or the wisps that spawn to rescue, and then you just win those objectives automatically. And the rats will fear you. Like, you'll have a little army of rats following you around, hoping that something happens to you. Here's a guy. Don't know what... Oh, he's mining! Little, oh, he's got a little escapee set. That's fine. Let's see if we can catch him. And root, and throw, and auto-attack, and auto-attack, and throw again. And can I reflect? No. And boink, look at that. He had an escape set and we still caught him. Uh, even though he probably didn't really escape correctly, but um, this, this like, and in, in my adrenaline boost is up. So here's another tip too. Uh, let, me, let me try to find an example. Let's say someone is to the right of my screen and I need to chase them with adrenaline boost. The way the skill works is that if you don't hit anything in a certain amount of time, you lose the boost. So you cast it and as you run, you just push Q on an enemy. And then as you run, you know, you push Q on another enemy, which I was too slow there, I lost the buff. But I got at least half of the buff's efficiency out. And what you do is you see these little, like, Wolpertinger, I don't know how to say their name. Wolpertinger. Yeah, you just, you just use your boost on these little dudes. And yeah, you can cry for it, you know, it's just a pixel animal, it's not real. I'm not out here killing majestic squirrel creatures in real life, okay guys? Um... Like, think about it. If you were some battle axe wielding, life stealing magician with a reflective superpowers that can hover, would you really waste your powers killing squirrels? I don't think so. 
But yeah, this is, uh... Why is there no objectives, man? <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, the mists are so lame sometimes. Uh, yeah, we are... We're big fishing. You know, we're using a powerful build. No one wants to fight us. No one can run. Well, some people could probably run, but... Uh, the only counters to this build that I've heard are Cursed Staff, which I covered in a previous video, so go check that out. It's labeled Powerful Cursed Staff in the title. Let's go to another mist. And uh, a Light Crossbow. Light Crossbow counters the... Oh, what are you? What are you? Hello, I have 10 I I'm shielded, so if you hit me... Are you AFK? Verdia? Ver Very Dia. 2,222 HP. Look at you. Well, I guess you're AFK. <laughs> oh, there you go. Boink. <laughs> Negative 37.5 rep. Yes, we lost the rep. That's okay, though. We'll get it back. And this person will be kneeling for three whole minutes. Freaking tigers, man. See, the Thedford Cape, it just killed all these innocent little uh, marmots, man. Brutal stuff. <laughs> oh, looks like uh, Bridgewatch is capping their outpost back. Oh, Messiata. Tin. Let's see what you got. Oh, you're trying to mount up? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See if I can catch you. Oh, caught you. Oh, uh-oh. Are you going to run? Are you going to fight? Oh, he's fighting. He's life stealing. Here, I'm just going to reflect it. Yep, I'm just going to reflect it. It's cool that he fought me, though. That's cool, man. Like, props to this dude. <laughs> props to him with his flat four. You know, he... See, that's what, that's what we need more. We need more people willing to fight. Why is your helmet is so good and your weapon and armor so bad? And your boots, too? What is what is going on? What a weird... So weird. What is up with that? I don't know. That's just odd. Very odd behavior. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this guild is Shiot. <laughs> uh, which sounds like... What is this guy? Oh, that's a uh, faction flag. Little cotton grabber. Yeah, Pikaton. <laughs> Listen, I'm going into the mists. Stay out of this. I have no mount. Don't attack me. All right. I don't know why I changed my voice for that. I don't know why I pitched it down, so to speak. Okay, let's see. What do we got going on in this mist? Oh, we have a... I always spawn so far away from the damn chests. But I'm going to get there, there's going to be an epic fight, and then, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Because this is a fun build, it's a pretty strong build. Again, this is the Twitch TV Mean Shock build. Alright, so you can you can look that up on Murder Ledger, you can look it up on Twitch. Um, there you go. <laughs> he is the uh, he is the perpetrator of the build. Is that is that how I'm, am I using that word right? Perpetrator? Isn't that like something people say in like crime investigation? The perpetrator burglarized the jewelry store or something. This guy's dismounted. You know what, fisherman? I'm not after you. You can live to fish another day, sir, even though you're out in the middle of nowhere with a fishing pole equipped to your main hand, which is very sus indeed. I am after the chest. There's got to be someone standing on it. No? Okay. What do you got? What do you got going on, Bo Badon? Bo Badon. 3,377 HP. Little... Eight one f little fisherman wanted to check the chest out. Too bad I'm the big fish. Yeah, man, chest is mine. And sometimes these chests are good, like 60k, 120k. Let's see what this one's worth. Don't click it after this happens. Let the let the thing pop up. 13k. That sucked. Oh well, it's mine now. Let's go kill some rock uh, harvesters and then, because we've seen two fishermen, they're probably at the water somewhere. So we'll swing back around and kill them later. Maybe. They might be slippery. Of course, why would anyone mine here? This is like a really bad place to mine stone, honestly. Like, you should never mine stone in the mists. When I gather in the mists, which is like never, I don't even bring my uh, my stone mining hammer. What did I sell? What did I, I sold a Skinner garb. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, good stuff. It's friggin' 3,000 silver. Well, like... Yay. <laughs> okay, let's go kill the fishy fishermen's, and we shall call this video completed. Yeah, man. Let's see, where are we going? We're going to the water. Water, water, water. And we're gonna, we're, we have to run at the, okay, there he is. We have to run at them from off screen. Otherwise, they'll get spooked. So, let's, uh, run, run, run. Oh, he's already spooked. He are, he's already running. 
He saw me. He's, he's, he knows. He knows I'm after him. He's got a little avatar. Don't know where he got that avatar from. But is that the only fisherman? There was another one here. Where's he going? You looking for fishy? Oh, there, there's another. Yeah, man. He's got his, he's got his ox. His ox, which doesn't really give you much of a health or defense bonus. He's, he's looking for fishies. See, look, he's even, he even has it equipped. Odd behavior. Are you going to run for me? Are you going to run, dude? Let's see if I can hit him with... Oh, no, that didn't hit. That one hit, but it did no damage because I don't have any bleed stacks. Bro, you got you got eight minutes on your fishing buff. Uh, you be a shame if I chased you for eight minutes and wasted it, wouldn't it? <laughs> be, a be a real shame. There's more watering holes up top, it looks like, so he might be going there. He's like, oh, this ganker. Oh, why are you ganking in the yellow zone, bro? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh it's it's too fun it's too funny but um as far as like dismount builds go i don't think this is quite a dismount build because i think bear paws gives you a little bit more reach like if i was a bear paws build i would be able to dismount that guy no probs but i'm um, not i'm running the the you know this one is, is for it's for killing in the miss in black zones okay this is black zone approved and I'm just here in the yellows because I'm too timid, and I don't like losing things to ever go to the black zone. And I don't have premium anyway. I don't have premium active. I don't have a reason to, like, go farm the black zone and get what? Get favor and might? whoop de doo Oh, I can buy some uh, energy, some siphon energy, and sell it for what? Silver? Well, look, my silver's good. 161 million. I sold another item. Let's see. Hellion jacket for 6.7 million. Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Sold one of these bad boys. This one's worth 12 million, though. So there you go. We're selling Hellion jackets. Buy one. <laughs> I, I, am not a I am not a Hellion jacket crafter. I will show you. I will show you that I'm not. Where is the Hellion jacket? See, look. Here's leather armor crafter. I can't even craft tier 4 Hellion jackets. I am not a Hellion jacket crafter. So don't be thinking I'm sitting here telling you. Let's go to an another mist. Don't be sitting here thinking I'm trying to get you to buy Hellion jackets or anything silly like that, okay? I don't need YouTube to help me sell things in this game. I can just put them on the market. Someone will buy them eventually. That's how it works. Ooh, another chest. Let's go. One minute, 30 seconds. Yes, we're going to these chests because we want to fight. Now, imagine if one of these chests was a purple or a blue or even a legendary. I've never opened an open world or a mist legendary chest. I have never opened a single one. I've never even seen one. Not once, ever. Also, you'll notice, like, especially in yellow zones in the open world, you'll see this build almost always win the chest fight. A except usually this build is accompanied by an 8.4 healer, and they're partied together. It's it's such a... I, I would love to make a video on it, but I don't know any 8.4 healers, or I don't know any, you know, battle axe people that want to farm yellow zone chests. Like, let's be real. Uh, but if I did, it would be a valid video on how to farm X amount per hour. Let's go, Mysterious Stranger... What you got? Oh, a little hammer boy. Oh, battle axe. Yeah, dude, I will fight you instead. <laughs> yeah, where are you going? Where are you going? Boink. Okay, that's a, uh, oh, you were 4.1. This hammer bro, he's done. He ain't getting this. He's Now, he's a slippery little sucker. Okay, he's a, he's a slippery one. I, what I need to do now is scout where are the mobs. There's two there that I can life steal from, so that's cool. But other than, yeah, he's just going to mount up and leave. And that's fine. The chest is, see, look, now if I attack this, I get poisoned. So let's pop that poison early. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I got 10 seconds, boys. Hey, I'm hard flagged. What are you? Death givers. Okay. Okay, death givers. You don't have, you're, bro, you got, you got the yellow exclamation point. Oh, no. I missed my axe. Yeah, what are you doing? You don't get to open that, silly. You're also yellow exclamation pointed. Or marked. Get out of here. Shoo. Oh, you gonna... I'm gonna reflect you. That's easy. <laughs> easy reflect. Yep. Oh, see ya. <laughs> he killed him. Like, I didn't even get to fight him. Yeah, this is my chest, dude. I'm not even wounded. Oh, I did it. I did the thing I'm not supposed to do is click it after it opens. I hate that. I'm such in a bad habit. Okay, that's 30k. Not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, oh, these mobs, you know, I could have, like, if I get in trouble and my health gets low, guess what? Boop, 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 lifesteal. Run over here, you know, use a, a movement ability, boop, boop, boop. I'm now lifestealing from five dudes. Fully healed, I can get back in that fight, no problem. This build is just absolute bonkers, sick, disgusting. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me, bro? Ugh. What are you? 
Oh, you're like a crossbow dude. Oh, you're my counter build. Hello, let's fight. I want to fight my counter build. I'm wounded, by the way. Come fight me. I got my movement ability in five seconds. What do you have? You have refreshing sprint and carry weight as your passive. All right, I need to hit something. There's a Warple Tinger. There we go. I'm doing the thing. I'm, you know, learning. Look how much range I just got. And I can, I can still catch you, dude. And the third one will root you. And boink, boink. There we go. Got him. He didn't even fight me. This build is just, it's so good, guys. It's... <laughs> Oh, man, it's like, unless you fight, you know, 8-4 crossbow guy. What's the number one ranked PvP? Sarjux, yeah. Hold oh, I can't look him up because I'm in the mist. But yeah, he runs like crossbow. <laughs> I'm bleeding, so I can't mount up for another four seconds because I walked through a cedar spirit. Is there anything else on this map worth checking out? Uh, there could be fishermen on the river. There could be someone here. But I think I did a good enough job. This video is long enough. You you've seen the absolute raw power of this build. It is pretty much unchallenged it's bursty as hell and and yes we did fight similarly geared players okay what i sell skinner cap cool <laughs> all right and we're selling gathering gear and hellion jackets apparently today uh anyway that's all i got i'm gonna run through here real quick and see if there's anybody foolish enough to farm it and then i shall end the video tell you all about it so Thank you for watching. I read every single comment. I may not reply to every comment, but I do read all of them, okay? I have no life, no social life, no friends, no family, whatever. Uh, if you want, there is, uh, like, right below this video, right down where my cursor is bouncing, there's a join button. And with that join button, uh, you can become a channel member. It's $5 a month. It gets you access to private, more personal videos, but also, like, advanced guides, flipping techniques. All sorts of really good stuff for Albion Online that are just too good to show the, to the public. Because if I make like a guide on how to make silver and then 10,000 people view it, then everyone will do it and then no one will make silver. But I only have like 200 channel members and only like 40 of them watch the video and almost none of them actually do the methods because they're super rich anyway. So it's pretty much guaranteed that you can make silver from those methods. Super easy. Also, uh, I have a Discord if you want to help gank and do group dungeons or whatever. Uh, there you go. All the links are in the description for that stuff. On the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. Hand chosen by Google just for you. And with that said, I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I hear someone fighting something, so I want to hurt them. I want to gank them. Where, where's the sound? It's coming from my south. Southeast. Let's go. What are you? You are a, a little 5-1. Always running. Always running, lads. Get him. Get him. <laughs> See, I can't help but giggle. Like, oh, he's growing big. Little grow bigger. Little grow big boy. And throw an axe. Oh, no. Where's he running? Where's he going, boys? I can't help but just giggle. I can't help but giggle every time I do this. Now, if I actually kill this guy, I become a... Oh, no. I'm already an outlaw anyway. So screw it. Boink. Oh, I didn't even need to throw the second axe. And now he's going to have a little three-minute timeout. Demons and wizards, huh? So, um, yeah, look at him. Why? <laughs> because it's funny. Oh, how's your... I can join his Discord, dude. Let's join his Discord real quick. And uh, see if he's, he's playing. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's his character name? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Is Ganking Yellow? Serious? <laughs> His name is Itchy's One, and um, they have their Discord locked down, so I can't freaking say anything in any of the channel. It's they don't even speak English in this Discord. Bummer. Well, I can't do anything in his server. Oh well, it was worth a try. Uh, <laughs> what a newbie content for such a well-known player. <laughs> what else is he saying? I missed it. Uh, channel content, Kanking Yellow? Yes, absolutely, dude. And I'm having a blast. I'm living my best life. Anyway, guys, click the video on the right side of your screen. And, uh, yeah, have fun. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, let me know what kind of build you want to see next from what streamer or whatever. And I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to go wait two minutes, so I'll go back to town. I'll see you then. Take care.